Leave those ones, let's bless the name of the Lord. Leave those to us. Let's bless the name of the Lord this morning. Father, we thank you. Thank him. Thank him. What a good God. We thank you, Lord. What a good God. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Nino Balish, Nina Liaba, Dizozo, Bredet, Mabo, Beka, Dejada, Ruzuza, Inno Melabosh. We thank you, Lord. Awesome God, glorious God. Kekumiadi, Jarosh, Abo, Zeta, Liro, Jada, Ruzuza. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. What a faithful God. You are the one that committed the crime. Worthy of death. But he came down in our form. Do you know the truth? I just got, I refreshed my memory this week. On that uh, movie, the Christian movie, The Passion of Christ. And I went to study that movie. And I heard, or I got to know, that the guy that acted Christ, by the reason of what he suffered for acting it, he acted that. Part of Christ. And what he suffered for acting it. If I got right, he had to do heart surgery about twice. To be able to balance. He had to be hospitalized. He just acted. Not that he, he acted that rule. In the process of beating him, they made the mistake of hitting him one time. And they said that the thing that they hit him with, an iron or rod, pierced his body about six inches or thereabout. Deep. And made a cut for acting. Now think of Jesus now. Taking it himself. He took my pains. He took my shame. He took my death. I was the one that deserved it. But he said, I will take it for you. And he took it so that I won't be, I won't go through it again. Please lift your twins and bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord for, the, for what he has done. From the depth of her heart, if you really understand it now, thank him now for this great work that he did. Thank you, Lord. Talaba fiawe, talole I'll be like it with you, Lord.
Thank you for bringing us into this Easter miracle banquet. Thank you for what you did in the first service. Your word that came with power and the encounters we had. Take all the glory. And thank you for what you are doing already in the second service. Father, reach out to us again. Let your word come with speed. Let the light of the word shine upon us. Let the light of the word shine into our lives. Let every darkness be shattered. Let the purpose of Easter become the experience in each one's life. Thank you. Because you have done it. Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Clap for Jesus' church. Amen. We had a great time in the first service. Because servant the state pastor brought us the word. So powerful. That is for Jesus make it stronger. Please, I want to recommend, I want to advise everyone get the message of that for service. So that you don't miss out of the blessing. Is our Easter service. And the service has been called Easter Miracle Banquet. We started to look at this subject in the first service, understanding the wonders of his resurrection. We had the part one in the first service. And we're taking the part two in the second service. Hear me now. 
God is here. And is here to do some strange things. He said, I am come down. I am come down. To take you out. And then to bring you into the place I have ordained for you. Every wilderness experience that anyone under this service has been going through, every unpleasant experience, every negative thing that you have been going through before this service is over. You are out finally. You believe that I wear your loud. Amen. Understanding the wonders of his resurrection. Now, look at me one minute. We make this error. We have this error as believers. Christians. All of our, let me call them, uh, celebrations in the faith. In the, we oftentimes reduce them to mere celebration. And that makes us to miss out on what they stand for. What, what they stand for and what God ordained them for. Remember, God does nothing for nothing. Everything he does, there is the purpose for it. He's a God of purpose and plan. He doesn't do things for the fun of doing it. That's the first thing I want to remember. The second thing, anything that God does or he has done, his nature is to repeat it. And again. And again. Malachi 3.6. Hebrews 13.8. But you see, he can't do it except somebody is ready and invokes him to do it. And by his nature, he repeats those things. If you check it very well, periodically, at the certain and specific season, look at it. He ordained Shiloh in the Old Testament. Joshua 18, 1 to 3. Joshua they must be gathering. And there was a purpose for it. To subdue. Mobile. Land, the land before them. They kept doing it. What's in shape? It was it became a religious ritual. Oh, why did she sin? Religious ceremony. Oh, why don't you want she get a BS? Never heard of anything about Shilo. Ah, Uncle Kani Bashilo, because they took it as a routine. And that is what many the church today is known. The only account we had of Shiloh was of Hannah. Out of all the years of the Old Testament, only one time, one woman, who somehow, we might not have the detail, got to know that this event is not just a ceremony. This event was commanded for specific things. And God will always be ready to do it again. Only an animal. Look at another example. We have the Holy Ghost come down on the day of Pentecost. If you check Acts chapter 2 verse 1 Take note of the statement. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, why did they put that statement there? I think all that 
was significant in that chapter was the Holy Ghost coming down. So what concerns the coming down of Holy Ghost and Pentecost? You need to understand God. When it does one thing, it becomes a recurring decimal. To keep doing it and to do it, to do it at certain times. Why, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, it means they were waiting for that day to fully come for the event to happen. And you know what? Pentecost happens after Passover. Passover marks the exodus of the people of God from Egypt. On their way to the promised land. God wanted to bring out his church from the hold of air. Release it to a new realm for his onward march to the final home. It must happen again at the certain day it happened before. Events in the kingdom are not ceremony. They are not rituals. They are, inst they, they are all instituted by God. And they are there to keep speaking till eternity. So wake up. It's not just Easter celebration. It's another opportunity to tap into what God instituted. So we must know what God instituted for the moment. So that we don't just eat and dance and then go. Jesus told them, wait, a certain day is coming and something will happen, it will somersault you. Bible scholars add, add it. 500 men were gathered at the month of Olive. To see Jesus ascend. And he told all of them, wait, don't go anywhere. I know the program of heaven. And I know my father. Our plan, something is coming, and it's more, it will happen at the time. Wait for it. Because that's how God operates. Bible scholar, so the, Bible, the Bible records it. By the time that day fully came, only 120 were waiting. 380. They said, he will do it anytime. If I come back, if the thing don't happen, I go take my own when I come. God is a, is a God of time. Today is very spectacular. Unique. That's all I've been trying to say. So that you have come to church is not by mistake. There is something that is a take home for you. And hear me very well. If you will be sensitive enough to take it home. Just as Jesus came out from the, from the grave, resurrected, and the world has not recovered from it. The same way. What will happen in your life today in this service? You will never be able to recover from it. I can't hear your amen. If you hear 2020 to 24, that was it. That's AD. After the death. Why after the death of Christ? Why not after the death of somebody else? That event changed the face of, of humanity. He didn't beg for it. But that was what God is ready for. Hear me now. I speak by the authority of heaven. Everyone that your heart is open here. The landmark event. That will touch 
turn your life around. I release you as a spectacular being to your world. It's happening for you now. You say louder, amen. Four outstanding things. I want to tell your Mary that Easter was ordained for. The state pastor showed us two of them in the first service. Number one, high opening. And you need to understand that. Because what you see is what you will have. And the devil has a mission to cover the eyes of men. To cover the eyes of men. But Easter came. Res Jesus resurrected to cause the eyes of the believer to be open. So that you can take delivery of what belongs to you. Please get to the message of the first service. We can't go over it again. Number two thing is grave opening. Opening of the grave. The grave means anything that holds a man down and that won't allow the man to move. And that is what the devil always do. Is a great and an effectual door is open. God does that. God does that always. But he said, the moment the devil sees God is opening a door, he will command many adversaries so that they will stand by the door. You can't you enter. And then many people, they will not be backing with it. What? The resurrection of Christ is meant to do is to force every grave to be open. That nothing is permitted to hold you down. Get the message of the first service. I'm just trying to summarize. What we are told. Powerful time. Two more things. Quickly. The third thing that happened at Easter. But the resurrection of Jesus is empowerment. Empowerment. And you need it. You need it. You need it. Say unto God, Psalm 66 verse 3, I'll tell you that through the greatness of thy power, shall the enemies submit themselves to you. Until we are empowered, the enemy will never submit. You don't argue, you don't talk with the enemy when there is power. So Jesus rose from the dead to give power to the believer. So that with that power, you will be ruling in the midst of the devils. You will be in charge. No matter how angry they are, you need it. You won't need to consult any man or wait for any prophet to prophesy on you. Oh, why didn't when you the Lord power Lord. is on you, you become a ruler and you are reigning. You need it. That is what Easter gives. And that is what this service is meant to do again. He did it before. He has the nature of doing it again. Particularly when that certain moment comes. That's what we're doing so get ready. Get ready for it. That's what we are doing. Come alive. You can't be empowered for that business and that business will not be progressing. If they are using charm, let this power work. And then let's see which one will be stronger. Charm. Come alive. 
Please for empowerment. John chapter 20, verse 22. After he rose, he went and appeared to, the, to the, the, his disciples. And he breathed on them. And said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye. He just breathed on them. And he said, Take the Holy Ghost now. And he said, You will receive power when the Holy Ghost comes on you. That is what the resurrection is meant for. For the breath of the Holy Ghost to come on our lives. For power to come on us. And when that power is at work, things will work. You know what? Everything in life needs power. You shall receive power. So you will remember the Lord your God. For it is He that gives you power to have wealth. So money answer to power. Healing answer to power. Bread to answer to power. Long life answer to power. Lift your hand up now. I command that breath of the Holy Ghost comes on you now. Comes on you now. In the name of Jesus. Number four. The second one. For the second service. That happened at Easter. At the resurrection of Jesus. Is break. Through. What? Break through. Even the resurrection of Jesus is breakthrough. When he came out of the dead, at the same moment, the stone moved. Nobody touched it. What's that? Babanla breakthrough. Ultimate breakthrough. The stone that was, as it were, mechanically rolled, because it was, it was a lot of soldiers that rolled it. Even when Mary, uh, the, uh, the, mother, the mother of just the other Mary and the other woman, Maria, Salome, they, they were going to they, Sunday morning to check. They were saying in their heart, who will help us to roll away this stone? Because the, the ability of Man cannot do it. But when he came out, of the grave, when life came back, when he came out of the dead, the same moment the stone gave way. That is what happened at Easter. Uh, I don't know what stone has kept you shut in. That it is over your marital life. It won't allow you to settle down. It's over your business, over your finance. Over your business, over your finance. Hear me now. By the breakthrough power that goes with Easter. I command your breakthrough now. And look at it to, 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 to establish it. In John 21, verse 3, after he resurrected, Peter took the other disciples. Let's go fishing. And they went fishing. And all through the night, they caught nothing. While they were returning in the morning, and they were tired and frustrated, they saw a man by the shore. The little children. Have you had any, any fish? They said, we caught nothing until now. Jesus appeared to them. They, they, they have not recognized him. Then he told them, cast your net on the right side. Which one is right side and left side? Is that the we have gone all the night when the fishes will be around. We didn't catch anything. Now in the morning, we are now saying right side. My right hand. What is special about my right hand? What you see? When, after his resurrection, what has stopped your sources must always give way. They cast the net and they couldn't draw the net for the multitude. The same water. 
the same place, the same boat, the same net. They have not changed. They have not gone anywhere. It's all the same business. Where you are still begging now, the same establishment, where you are known for shame, the same village, the same community, where nobody reckons with you. After this service, your testimony will become the talk of the town. Wow, the British power. They couldn't draw it. And then eventually, when they beckon to others and they do it, interesting breakthrough testimony. The, the fishes that came into the net was over what the net could carry. Yet, the net never broke. The net didn't break. Ah, breakthrough. That's a breakthrough. That is what Easter stands for. That is the miracle or the thing that God does every Easter. What God will make happen again and again and again. So, he will do it today. And then, another opportunity next year. And when he will do it next year, is to step you up again. Is the reason why you can't afford to miss today's event. Because it will be next year again. One, opening of the eyes. Two, clearing the grave. Three, empowerment. Four, Breakthrough. You can't have this for. And you remain at that same level. That's your your feet. Jesus, Jesus, I must not miss out of today's encounter. I will not miss out. I refuse to miss out of today's encounter. I refuse to miss out of today's encounter of your hand at work. Right in our means today. Come on, somebody, leave those two hands. Pray the prayer that God must hear and answer. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Lord, my choice today is not to miss out, but to be a partaker of the great things you have packaged and ordained for today. Thank you, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Can I hear louder, amen? Clap for Jesus. Please, you may be seated. The heaven is loaded. The atmosphere is pregnant. Some people know they have received the touch of God. You came with any sickness. Check your body. Healing is taking place. Right under the service now. Somebody has been healed of headache. Somebody came. You couldn't move your neck very well. Check it. Move it now. That neck is moving. It's moving now. And then the stiffness is gone. The pain is gone. The healing of God, the healing power of God is operating here now. Don't miss out of it. Don't miss out of it. For everyone here, today shall be a day you will remember forever. But hear me very well. God has come down. But for what he came with, to become a reality in your hand. You must also come to him. That coming to him is not coming to church as well. Coming to church is the physical. But you must hand your life over to him. You must acknowledge that God, I need you. God, I want you. And if you know that the life you are living now cannot make him to be able to reach out to you, then you acknowledge it. And you tell him, help me. Help me. And make me not to miss today. God came down one day to meet a man called Jacob. But he was sleeping. He was sleeping. By the time he woke up, Oh, God, you came down. Okay, sorry, you have gone, okay. 
And he entered, he stepped into years of a man of trouble. God has come down this morning for you. Because he knows the way things are not working. Will you come to him? Will you agree? God, I need you. I want you. Take my life. Change my story. That is what I'm talking about. Please rise your feelings for me. Jesus, I, I, want, I want you in my life. Because I want a change. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. You are not ashamed to do it. The Lord bless you. You are standing. Pick your Bible. Please come to the front. Come to the front. We don't have time again. You are still seated. Come, 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 come. That is the reason why you came to this service. Others are escaping. Don't allow any devil keep you. Jesus, I want a change. I need you. Jesus, I am here for a change of story. I must not return back to the struggles I've been experiencing. Rise your feet where you are. Pick your Bible. Come, come, come now. Come now, come now. Come now. Come now. That is the reason why he brought you this service. Don't miss this opportunity. You are the back. Run quickly to the front. You are the middle. You are the front. Somebody needs to respond now. Somebody needs to respond now. Tomorrow might be too late. Don't delay it. Don't postpone it. Don't allow the enemy to keep you in the grave. Let Jesus open the grave for you now. Pick your Bible, run out. That is the reason why he brought you this habit. Church, please clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them. Somebody is still seated. The only ghost is touching your heart. And he's telling you, I'm waiting for you now. I'm waiting for you now. I'm waiting for you now. Come, come, come. come. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me make this call this way again. As I make this call now, your heart is beating. That is beating. Like fear catching you. Let me tell you what yes, that means. So the Holy Ghost was telling you. I, I'm talking to you now. Let me change your story. That is what I'm talking about. Don't allow this opportunity to pass you back. Stand up now. Pick your Bible. Come now. I give you just five seconds for that. Five seconds for that. That is what I just described now. Stand up. Pick your Bible. Come now. Please clap for them. Clap for them. Stand up. Pick your Bible. Come now. If that is you I just described, is that is you that the only go just talk about? Stand up quickly. Run now to the front. Come, 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 come. Don't miss today. Don't miss today. Don't miss today. Come quickly now. Number two. You gave your life to Christ one time or the other before. But you have seen that the life you are living now does not please God. You know it. But you want God to help you to be able to overcome sin and the things that makes you not to please God. You want that this morning? Rise to your feet also. Pick your Bible, come now. Join them now. Jesus, I want to help me. Deliver me from all that makes me not to please you. Pick your Bible, run to the front now, quickly. I have 10 seconds for you in that class. 10 seconds. The Lord bless you. Come quickly, come quickly, come quickly. Church, please clap louder. You are doing that? Don't wait any further. Jesus, deliver me. Help me to be able to live the life that pleases you. Come, 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 come. come. Clap louder, church. Take this sin away from me. Empower me to be able to live the life that pleases you. Don't wait any further. You are still struggling with that voice inside you. Stand up now and come now. Today is your day. Okay? Finally, number three. This is your first time in our midst on a Sunday morning. We want to pray for you as we pray for these ones. We will come to the front, stay behind them, so that we can identify you as the two classes. This is your first time on a Sunday morning in this church. Please rise to your feet, pick your Bible, join them, and stay at the back. Quickly. Church, please clap, 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 clap.
There are five individuals. I'm not so sure whether they are all men. But I think I'm seeing of men. The challenge with you is that you are addicted. You are under addiction. You are tired of it. But you have not been able to come out of it. Now hear me very well. You are free now. You are free now. That addiction is broken. The taste for it is taken away. You will not return back. I'm speaking clearly what will happen. You will not return back. Five of you in the name of Jesus. Now, those in front, look at me. Those in front and those at the back. Jesus brought you because he wants to terminate the struggles. But you need to tell him, Jesus, take my life. Terminate the struggles. Then he will do it. That's the prayer I want to pray for you now. So you want to say, Jesus, take my life. Terminate the struggles. Let me see your hand up. In front, at the back. Jesus, take my life. Terminate my struggles. Lift it up very well so that Jesus can see it. Now, say after me. Lord Jesus, I hand my life over to you. Take it. Use it for your glory. Deliver me from sin and from Satan that I may serve you the rest of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for doing it. Amen. Keep those hands up. Now I decree that grace that has found you, that grace will keep you. Jesus, my name. Amen. Amen. Look in that direction. Open your eyes. Look in this direction. Please follow our pastor there. Amen. Church, are you clapping? Still, what's less about the table? At this communion table this morning, our heart cry is this. Everything that Easter stands for becomes my experience today. Everything. It becomes my experience. So as I take this communion, the high opening will, will take place. The grace will open. The empowerment will happen in my life. And break through in the name of Jesus. Father, at this communion table, let the purpose of resurrection become the experience of each one in the name of Jesus. Let every eyes be open. Let every grave be open. Let there be the release of your power. Let there be breakthrough. Father, I decree instant testimonies, instant miracles, and thank you because you have done it. Jesus mighty name. Amen. As you are taking the communion, immediately you take the communion, check your body. There will be miracles right away. Again, with you have you had anything that was a challenge? Check it now. You need to take the communion. Check it because there will be instant testimony. And as you see that happen, rush to the testimony booth. Go and document it right away now. There will be all manners of things happening now. Eyes will open. Issues that have been in your body will be reported. Jesus Amen. Amen. Choir, let's go. Minister to the Lord. At the mention of your name, every knee must bow. At the mention of your name,
whatever that has made you to weep and shed tears this week is turned to your celebration. I therefore decree by the power of his resurrection this week shall be to you for amazing celebration. The next 40 days the resurrected Christ will be appearing. It will change your story. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus.